That is not an accurate simulation of beta emission, but it gives some idea of what happens. There are two types of beta decay, by far the most common beta minus and also beta plus. The investigation into beta minus showed that a fast moving electron was emitted from the nucleus and the parent atom changed into an element one atomic number higher. An example of this is the decay of carbon-14, the isotope used in carbon dating. When a beta particle is emitted, the carbon becomes nitrogen, with the same atomic mass, but an increased atomic number. What has happened is that a neutron in the nucleus has split, emitting an electron and leaving a proton. But the researchers had a problem. There was a large spread of energies of the fast electrons being emitted. And since every decay was the same, you'd expect that the energy of the emitted electron, the beta particle, would be the same. The solution finally decided upon, and eventually proved, was that another particle was sharing the energy. In this case, an anti-neutrino. But why an anti-neutrino? Well, that's because in a decay, the lepton number is conserved. Now, an electron is a lepton, and this has been newly produced. To balance it, there must be an antiparticle. In this case, therefore, an anti-neutrino. In beta plus emission, which is considerably less common, the opposite happens. An example of this is when magnesium-23 decays to become sodium-23. One of the protons in the nucleus captures an inner electron and changes into a neutron. The positive charge is ejected via a positron, that is, an anti-electron. To balance the lepton number, a neutrino is emitted. We can use a Feynman diagram to illustrate what happens on a rather more fundamental level. This is not a graph, but it aims to give an image of what happens over a short period of time. In beta minus emission, it is a neutron that changes. A neutron consists of three quarks, an up and two downs. A W minus boson is emitted from the nucleus. This intermediate particle decays very rapidly into an electron and an antineutrino. The quark changes from a down quark to an up quark. Having emitted an electron, a negative charge, it effectively therefore acquires a positive charge and changes from a neutron to a proton. Beta plus emission is almost the reverse of this. One of the up quarks emits a W plus boson, producing a positron and a neutrino. That boson changes to a down quark, so the proton becomes a neutron. Thank you for watching.